guys, what Xanticora here, and today I'm going to show you how to do this. Hold on. So, obviously today I'm going to show you how to make a fire. It's very, very simple, and it's just taking like 20 minutes to figure out how to do. Um, but I can show you how to do it in three. First thing you're going to do is go up to open view pane and go over to database view. Sorry about this. Kind of make this smaller. Alright, there we go. And we are going to click on particles over here. And um, you're probably going to go to open library and click on smoke and fire. And uh, press open, but since I already have that, I just have to go to smoke and fire. And you select the smoke and or fire that you wish to have. I like, um, use this fire. It's a rather large fire, as you can see, which is okay. And uh, now we're going to open up our roll-up bar, and we are going to click on area and shape. Now you're going to click up here. Uh, wherever it is, where's my little? And you'll see this thing that uh, says "snapped objects to terrain," basically. And uh, click that, and start making a box. That's a really bad box. In fact, I'm gonna do that over again, or I can just move it. You want to get it as close as possible. Uh, change your height to about 5. And your width to kind of just... Uh. Alright. So now we are going to go to Entity and click on Hazard and add the hazard into the map by clicking and dragging. And uh, you want to set the perimeters for um, this. Pretty self-explanatory. Damage has you can chase this to fire if you want, totally no big deal. Um, and then click on your shape and go down here and click on pick and then click on your hazard wherever that went. Where is our hazard? Alright, let's just go back to our hazard, I guess. What do I do with that? Hazard. Got the hazard right there. Oh, I didn't do snap to terrain. That's why it's way down there. Alright, so I'll do that again. Uh, snap to terrain. Entity hazard. And now our hazard's right there. Click on our shape. And uh, go down here to pick. Select that little guy right there. And now your hazard's in there. Now, if you, uh, if you're fire ever goes out just click on reload script it'll start the fire over again so I'm gonna spawn and I'm going to walk into the fire and I'm getting hurt as you can see very badly I'm almost dead actually and now I'm dead so uh, that's pretty much how I do that um, any questions comments concerns email me at wizzyworld at gmail.com please don't post me comments and just so you know I don't know how to fix your game crashes I have no idea so don't ask me because I've looked I've had thousands and thousands and thousands of questions and I have no idea how to fix it so don't waste your time by asking me because I'm probably not going to answer you um that's pretty much it for this tutorial Xanthaqua signing out